Ah, oh, shalom, Master all shalom, man. Sorry, I fucking shit cut off because I tried to. I had to plug in my phone because it was dying. I was filming off the phone, but here we go. Like, I want to get this again. Look at what he says about the shield of David. Look at what he says about the Magan Dawat. Check this out. You need to come out of it. You need to come out of these idols. You, you need to come these out. Because I will break them. You will break them. Okay. You will roll the sky. Look at what he says. Like look at the scroll. Look, look at look what he says about the shield. In that day, there will be no, you know. No, I don't know. No star of David. No star of David. Coming to the kingdom. No, coming to the kingdom. Yeah, there ain't no stars. It's a shield, you fucking retard. Because Mosai is going to roll the whole hell on all the people that do this, man. That means he ain't going to be nice around here, man. Mosai is going to fight them. For his name's sake. And they... Well, what's his name? If it's not Yahweh, you blaspheme in Yahweh, so what's his name then? Know it, man. That's why they want to deceive all of you. So when Mosai comes, they don't care if everybody dies. If you deceive yourself, you're going to die with them. So they say we don't care about anybody. It's up to you to choose the Mosai and to keep the law, statutes, and commandments and stop following the cough and Baphomet, man. The cough and Baphomet. Okay. We were... Law, statutes, and commandments, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. What about this one? Because uh, this seems to be a motherfucking law, but none of y'all motherfuckers is following this shit. Let's see. Um, okay, here we go. Ezekiel 43 and 10. You, son of man, tell the house of Yashar Allah about the temple and let them be ashamed of their iniquities and calculate the temple's designs. That's a commandment. Tell the house of Israel about the temple and calculate the temple's designs. That is a commandment. We're supposed to calculate the temple and know its designs, man. Like, what's wrong with you? We're supposed to know all this shit, man, you know? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you all, man? But no, you, you none of you follow that commandment. So, I don't know what the fuck law, statutes, and commandments you guys even fucking know. So, I don't know. This is pure witchcraft and evil. It's witchcraft. Yes, this is it. This is what's going on in Babylon, brothers and sisters. This, this is, is what they do. This is, this is what they do in Babylon. 16. This is and they left Er Gerspandix. Old commandments of Mosai, their god, Mosai. and made them Venas. molten images, even two calves, two calves, and made a grove, and worshipped all the host of heaven, Bullshit. Oprah is going to tell you. Uh, That's right. Uh, That's right. I didn't want to hear him butcher scripture. And mingled themselves, you know, oh, yeah. and did a lot of evil in the sight of Mosai. So, brothers and sisters, we need to keep the laws, yeah. statutes, and commandments. Brothers and sisters, this guy's another uh, brothers and sisters, brothers and, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters. What's up with this brothers and sisters shit? It's Akyam. If anything... Or Akawath, or Ak or, Ak or Akai, or some fucking Akath, or some fucking form of Ak, man. Like, not fucking brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters. It's time, brothers and sisters. Okay. Fuck, man. First you had the retarded ninja, and now you got Borat. Like, what the fuck is going on? You guys have the most special bus on earth. And uh, there is nothing that Drew the Nazareth is going to tell you that is the truth. Everything it tells you is a lie. So the Torah is a lie. Because he's a liar. Because, because the Most High is a liar. No, I'm not saying that he's saying Judah Naz is the Most High, but you get what I'm saying, because it's not any of us. We're not saying anything but the Torah. So he's telling this about the Torah. He worships a false god. To him, the Most High Yahweh is a false god. Called Molech. And he thinks it's Moloch. The god of Hamon Hamonites. Hamonites. What the fuck are you, dude? Are you a damn Jew? Are you an Ashkenazi man? Are you or are you one of them Sephardics? You one of them you one of them undercover bastards, huh, aren't you? Yeah, you little fucking Jews, you bastard. Okay. So stay safe. Give up as to Mosai and Mosai only. And keep all these idols out of your house. All Shalom these the idols. Sisters. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Like, what the fuck? Where are you from, dude? Where the fuck are you from? You ain't no fucking... Bro, 
I've lived in New Mexico my whole life, and I'm pretty sure I have some type of fucking accent that I picked up just because, you know, you pick up shit from living in a place. But not even living amongst the land of the fucking Mexicans and shit do I, do any of, and nobody sounds like that, bro. Like, who the fuck, where the fuck are you from, bro? Where the fuck are you from? Where have you come from? Where have you, very nice. That's, That's where you fucking Kazakhstan, huh? That's where you from, huh, you little fucking bastard. So now we have nine. Nine individuals that make up the short bus all-stars. You know what? They don't even... They, they, you know what their real short bus look like? This they, That ain't their... That, you know... They don't even have... See, I'm giving them too much credit. They don't even have the two-window short bus. They rock this short bus. This is them, look. That's their short bus right there. That is literally a school... Look at that. Look at that. They, they don't even... Oh, Wheels. A casket, casket on wheels. Look at that shit. Fucking pulling the short butt. Look at that. Look at it. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. You guys are fucking. De- ah, man. And you know, you, I, I, I don't even know what to say to you guys anymore because it's so fucking retarded already. Like this is this is you guys. This is. You guys just need. To go put your fucking helmets back on, you know, put your helmet on, and, uh, and, uh, be safe. Be safe right in that short bus, son. You, just, you guys are the all-stars, you know, so if you guys go down, uh, the whole short bus crew will go down, so you can't have, can't be having that. Let's mess it up. Get that thing before it gets in. Alright, so, you know, uh, that's, so, yeah, uh, we've got, let's, let's recap. The idiots, short bus all stars, right? We got Bafflement Bill, uh, Billy Bob Sideshow, Jism, uh, the retarded ninja. We got Elder Crackhead, McDonald's baby Mc McBitch. Uh, we've also got the fag ass Haitian so called priest. Uh, we've got Ura Wara, the biker fag extraordinaire. We've got Lexwell, the shame face having Pope, fucking bacon wig having ass motherfucker. Uh, who else do we have? Oh yeah, and then uh, we just saw um good old uh um Edgar Spandex, you know so. Fuck Edgar Spandex. Fuck all those guys. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna let this play out for all these guys. Fucking secretary. Fuck you. Yeah, that's my message for you. Fuck you and kiss my ass. Yes. What's your name? Fuck you. That's my name. <laughs> Fuck you, Gail. Fuck you. Fuck you, Brennan. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck me. Fuck you. Fuck you, Lance. Fuck you. Fuck you! Fuck you, science! Fuck you, thunder! Fuck you. Well, fuck you. Fuck you, asshole. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, but have a nice day. (laughs) Fuck you! Fuck you, okay? Fuck you, whore. Fuck you! Fuck you, and fuck you! 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 Fuck you, 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 yeah, that's my oh, message to you. Fuck you. Oh, man. That's, yeah. So that's my message to everybody is, um, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. So that's my little rant. Uh, you know. Oh, yes, sure. Oh, man. What are we going to do about these guys? What are we going to do about them? I don't know. I don't know. What are your what are your thoughts on this? We're gonna we're gonna transition this into an open session, uh, since I had to do a second part of this. Uh, 
me and Brother Tabak are going to, uh, I guess, talk about this situation. If you don't mind, we're going to borrow the open session uh, from Brother Gabaria, man. And then, brothers over there, uh, most high bless you and your family, man. Barakatham uh, to, to all you guys, man. Uh, to all the knights, man, all the knights that stay true, stay strong. Uh, sorry we've been gone. Sorry we've been out, you know, but, uh, you know, shit's crazy, you know. Shit's been fucking kind of some shit, you know. Let me make sure. Thing. But, yeah, so, I don't know, man. What, what do you think about all this fucking bullshit? Oh man, where do I start, man? It's I don't. It's like you leave for a week. You you know you you you're like okay, cause it just came off the back of of this big old fucking war because of stupid ass Rob Rack and shit. I'm sure everybody's aware of what happened there. You know, battled the hell out of that guy. Got fucking yelled at by everybody first off beforehand because I told everybody Rob was a demon. Everybody yelled at me, told me to calm down and shit. And then I was like, nah, fuck him. And I started talking shit and then everybody yelled at me. And then all of a sudden, you know, I became the bad guy. And then now, uh, now that everybody's seen the blasphemy and the level of bullshit that's going around now, all of a sudden it's... uh. Fuck Rob Rack and fuck everybody. Um, so I decided to, you know, well, it wasn't even decided. I was actually just trying to take a couple days to to recoup and to uh, put together the a couple of mean ass lessons that I'm coming up with next. Um, putting together a lot of good stuff, man. A lot of good history, a lot of good Torah wisdom, a lot of good knowledge. Well, in fact, we might even drop a few uh, gems here in a few. But, um, you know, it... Uh, it just, it's fucked up because all this happened uh, right in the hill. Like I said, I took a break for a couple of days and all of a sudden my tablet gave out and then the internet gives out and fucking, it's just been, and then Tabox phone even was getting fucked with because your shit's all fucked up now, huh? <laughs> can't comment on nobody's shit, can't, I mean, you can't even watch some videos, man. They've been jamming this up and then my wife looked it up on the internet to see maybe it was just like a settings thing on the, on YouTube or some shit, you know, and. Uh, couldn't find nothing but a bunch of other people that had been talking out against the government and all this shit. Um, that they were getting censored, man. That YouTube censors people. They fuck with the with the likes. They fuck with the dislikes. They fuck with the views. They fuck with the subscribers. So Judah, don't get you know hurt. Don't even don't even fucking look at the thumbs down, thumbs up shit, man. I I I don't even look at the thumbs. I assume that everyone thumbs down my video. I don't even. I am the most hated motherfucker. Uh, amongst the knights so I don't expect nobody to even watch this video much less fucking any of my other ones uh you know touch based on um is brothers and sisters it's time oh my god <laughs> hey, uh, check man. this out man uh sh- shalom to all the knights man um there are people that are trying to leave the country I don't know what what they scared of or what they didn't read um and to all those people, if you are around, or if y'all are around any of them, those, those of you who watch this video, you ain't supposed to leave. You ain't supposed to run. Don't believe that shit that, they, that they're trying to get you to uh, go buy a passport and go to the go to the islands or yeah uh, like arm up and shit like yeah, that arm, yeah arm up and shit don't don't do that shit man yeah because rob Rack- say that he gonna lead us out and we ain't gonna leave in the, in the damn haze yeah so. exactly in fact let's get that script real fast um well because just to add on to that because that was a beautiful point um rob rack rob rack even has a video where his little survival kit talking about fucking you know 007 fish pole pens and fucking needing portable showers and we might need this shit before the most high you know the, the lack of faith total lack of fucking That's faith man. lack of faith see you know what you know what's a problem and tested, man. yeah everything's a test right and then not only that okay so check this out I, i'm probably gonna like you know because i was telling the brothers that you know uh uh that one the the stupid edgar spandex mr borat fucking was saying that that <clears throat> if you use the most high's name um, that you won't live long, like if you if you blaspheme it, right? Well, it's funny 
because I said that he was going to eat his words. Well, I'm probably going to eat my words. And, I, and like I, we, me and Brother Tabak were talking about this. And I, probably, I am, as we speak, actually eating these words because I've been saying this for a couple of weeks now. But the Most High, man, none of it, nobody believes in the Most High's miracles anymore. I've noticed everybody's lost the lack of faith. Like they think that things have to, I mean, I understand that we have to do things too, that we have responsibilities, that, you know, we have to go and testify. Won't you tell the house of Israel, you know, we have to go out and tell them and wash our hands and try to help our brothers and do all that shit. You know, we're watchmen. We're, we're the, we're the fucking gatekeepers. We're, we're all the shit. In fact, I'm going to probably bust out the names and here in a few, uh, but, um, you know, we're supposed to, uh, uh, be helping and, and all this shit but uh, um, these uh, what was the point I'm trying to make uh, it's the they're trying to teach everybody to, to they're, 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 they're thinking that you have to do it that we have to be the ones to just up and leave America or up and leave anywhere that we're in captivity and just go to the wilderness that it's our responsibility to just um, get, you know, we have to get arms and we have to get weapons and then we have to go to Israel and take the land back and fight the Jews and all this shit. When that's not, that's not scripture, man. That's not, in fact, um, I wanted to bring this out real fast uh, since we're on the subject and then you could go back uh, uh, to what you're doing now. Um, let me see, what was it? Remember which one it was? Oh yeah, 50, okay, we're on Isaiah 52 and 11. Turn away, turn away, get out from there. It is defiled. Do not touch it. Get out from inside it. Cleanse yourselves, O bearers of Yahweh's armor. So we are the ones that bear Yahweh's armor, right? We're the ones that, that have to uh, do battle for him. We are his weapons of war, spiritually. So this is spiritually. We have to turn away from the wickedness. We have to get out from inside spiritual Babylon, right? But they try to tell you, you got to go physically, right? But what does it say? The exact next verse, verse 12, 52 and 12, Isaiah you will not leave in chaos, nor will you go in flight. For Yahweh will go before you, and the Most High of Yahshua will be your rear guard. So see right there, it says, turn away, get out. But what's going to happen? We ain't going to leave, though. Yeah, we have to get out. and Yeah, we have to cleanse ourselves and leave. But we aren't going to leave in chaos, and we're not going to leave in flight. Meaning all these people that are getting all paranoid, because we've been seeing that a lot on Facebook. Actually, Brother Tabak has been witnessing that. A lot of brothers be just be up and trying to leave. And then a lot of them are trying to go to South America, and which is funny because uh, Lexwell has been teaching everybody that they need to go to South America. In fact, he went to his little Pope did his poke shit yesterday uh or actually a couple days when was it on the 18th or something so it's been a couple days already oh yeah on thursday he did it on thursday uh today is well technically sunday but it's the night time of saturday um you know but so lexwell but he didn't mention a word of it like i mentioned in the last video or whatever he didn't mention a word of of any of that shit any of the trip or anything but yet Ashlakia, he's telling people that, uh, you know, we're supposed to go to South America and everybody's trying to flee and everybody's getting all scared because of the Jade Helm shit. And then uh, you got Edomites shooting up churches and you got cops fucking gunning down Israelites and like all this fucking madness that the Amalekites told you they were going to do. And now they're executing it. And now everybody's running around like chickens with their fucking heads cut off. And they really did create a, a gay bomb that cost seven million dollars. The gay man. bomb, maybe. Let me, hold they on, let me, really did. Let me see if I can pull it up. Keep going, keep going. And, and and some of y'all act like y'all got hit with that, man. Um, I, I don't know what the deal is, but oh. I'm telling you, that's why I said, like, I'm sorry, like you, you know, using harsh language and saying faggot a lot and all this shit. But straight up, man, sodomites have taken this motherfucker over, man. And it's like it's disgusting, man. Seeing so much wickedness, it's it's fucking the the whole land is defiled, man. The whole fucking land. You got um, you got uh, brother brothers like the brother that was banned from walking true was talking about saying that the you got the the camps and shit that are preaching that rape shit, man. Well I, I seen a post a picture of a brother that got caught doing that shit and the way that he looked, it looked like his you know what I'm saying, they was dissected him, you know, so the the shit is happening. We are living this, we are witnesses, watchers, you know what I'm saying? So I don't un understand how y'all could be getting confused about anything that the scripture is talking about yeah it's and that just goes to a lack of knowledge and a lack of understanding 
And that's fine, man. If you know, if you just w- and if you woke up, you know, if you just woke up, if you're just coming in the truth, you're just coming across yeah. videos and stuff. Like, granted, you know, you're not gonna you're not gonna know everything right away. You're not gonna know all the stuff. But if you've been in it for a while, man, you've been yeah, reading the scripture no, for years. No yeah, there, there's no goddamn excuse. Um, let's see. Uh, I just wanted to show a little brief uh, brief list of names um, for our people. That was, see, we have Abayar, right? <clears throat> Which we know, the knights, the mighty one, the bulls, the strange one, uh, strong ones, the valiant uh, knights, the angels, the chiefest, right? Abayar also means to wings or to fly. We have Shamar, which is spoken of in Isaiah 62 and 6. Shamar are the guards, or the they protect, they attend, they observe. This is the, the watchman, right? The Shamar, Shamarai, that's where we get Shamarai, the Samurai watchful, the Shamarayam, or the sh- sh- Shamaryam, right? The watchers, the keepers, uh, the guards that protect, attend, they mark, they watch tower, they circumspect, right? To watch, preserved, they... they uh, a dreg of wine uh, on the lease, right? Look, check it out. And then you've got Abshamara and Ashamarath, Ashamarawath, which means the night watch, which also means a night vigil or a night keeper. So we have Shamar or Shamarai, which covers the whole observers, like the watchmen, right? But then you have a specific uh, uh, Ashamarath or Ashamarath, which means a night watch or a night keeper. Because it says that we don't sleep day or night. We watch day and night. In Isaiah 62 and 6, you also got Zakar or Mazakarium in the Hebrews, which means the watchman, right? Which it means to mark, to recognize, to remember, to mention, to send, to mail. We are the rememberers. This means to Zakar means to remember, to remind. We are supposed to remind the Most High. He says we are his watchmen and we are his reminderers, the Mazakarium. We are there to remind, he says, remind me, remind me, we plead with us, plead together, right? Look, then you've also got Isaiah 58 and 12, Gabariah uh, uh, gave me a shout out and, and, and talked about this. We have the Gadar Farats, the Gadar Farats, the Gadar Farats is the repairer of the close or to close up the wall, the hedge Gadar means to repair, close up the wall or a hedge, a fence or an enclosure, right? Um... Gadara, which is a, you know, a, a derivative of Gadar, is the sheepfold or sheep coat. So it's like you're repairing the sheepfold or you have to repair or close up the breach, what was broken down or incompressed or compelled. We have to close up the compelled, the broken breached wall because they compel you to, to do wickedness and witchcraft. So we, we are the Gadar for us. We repair the broken down sheepfold that was that and increase it, you know. Of course, there's Mashal. Which is ruler, dominion, governor, power, proverb, or parable, superiority in mental uh, action. So when you're a mashal, you are superior in mental action. This is why these fools can't come against the knights, man. This is why they can't come against the Abayar, Shamar, Zakar, Gadar, Farats, the mashals, the Sharath, the Sharathai, the Masharathai, which is the attend 61 and 6. Isaiah 61 and 6 is the Sharath. They attend as worshiper, a minister, a servant, us to serve or wait to service in the temple. We are the Sharath, the Masharathai, the, the, uh, attendants, the priests, the ministers. Because priest is Kahan and there's Zerath. Kahan is the priest. Uh, Sharath is the minister. We are his ministers. We have to minister for him. Then there's Ragal. Ragal from Isaiah uh, or 1 Samuel 2 and 9, which is to walk along or to lead about, to spy, to feast, uh, uh, feet, to spy or to feet, to step, to journey, to be able to endure. We are his ragalai or ragalyam, the footman. We are his soldiers, the fooler. We wash with the fooler's soap, the washers. We walk along, we lead about paths, we spy out the land, we feast and we step, right? This is all the, the things that we are, man. We're Abayar, we're Shamarai, we're Mazakarium, we're Gadar Farats, we're Mashals, we're Sharath Masharathais, we're Ragalais. We're all these things, man. These are just a few names that you could look up and check out that 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 have such a deep meaning. Another one that I wanted to show real fast. Uh, just you know, I'm sorry to rant off and stuff. We we're supposed to do an opposition, but I just uh, wanted to expound and, and, and give this knowledge to the brothers, man. Um, another one is odd, odd, man. You know how most people are like, ah, oh, man, you're odd, man. You you know you're odd, like strange or weird, right? In in English, it's odd, right? But in Hebrew. It's odd or a die. 
and it is it is so deep and so profound. Uh, this is my favorite title. I like odd. I like odd, man. We're odd. We're the Adai, man. You know, because check it out. Let me, let's get odd first, because we'll get odd and then we'll get a die. So we got odd, right? It means a terminus, right? Duration in the sense of advance or perpetuity, right? Everlasting, eternity, evermore, perpetually. So this is perpetually. So we are perpetually, right? What else? In conjunction, right? Meaning time or degrees. So we are perpetually among a time or a degree, right? We're in perpetual times and degrees. We are mastery. We are mastery. Look, until, unto, but mastery. So we have actually masters. We are mastery uh, um, in perpetual mastery of time. See, look, as far or long as whether of space or time or degree so we are actual perpetual masters of space times and degrees man you know and we attack the prey we attack and get booty we are witness we are a testimony right a prince we are witnesses so it is a witness a master of space and time perpetually that aims to attack to take the spoil and the booty right what else do we have? See, to take it away. Ada. Take it away. Alter. To remove. We remove. We take. We advance. We pass. We bedeck ourselves. We deck ourselves out with the most high as ornaments. We, we are his ornaments, right? We are like a fixture. He says, I will place you as a fixture in my walls. We are in a congregation, an assembly, a multitude. We are the congregation, the masters of space and time perpetually set up, decked out, and spaced in his walls, you know? You guys get this? You guys get you get getting it, you know? Testimony, man. Look it up. Odd and a die, man. It's so deep. Look. Trapping, finery, right? A headstall, a mouth, an ornament. We are his mouthpiece, his his headpiece, that that but it's so deep, man. Odd. Ah and da. Odd or a die. So there's a few names. Just wanted to bring that out uh real quick. Um, is there anything else you wanted to touch on? We're at 27 minutes. We could go for a little longer. Maybe t uh, anything else you wanted to mention? The, 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 you mention? The, it was, um, oh, if you brothers ain't seen the, 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 the rabbi interview. Oh yeah. The rabbi A.B. Finkelstein, man. You know, go check Listen, out that bro, interview. Go check that out, man. That is your evidence. You can Go check that interview out. The man openly telling you it's deep, and it's deep. It's deep. If if <sighs> if you want insight and detail, it's deep. To talk about all kinds of shit, man. Talk about how they, you know, and a lot of people try to say shits like that's fake. But if you if you know the protocols and you've done your history and you've done your homework, man, you listen to this interview. You just know the motherfucker's spitting some truth, man. Now, you know the shit is legit. They're talking about how they put babies, grind up babies, and put them in McDonald's and shit, in the meat and shit, you know, which explains... Now, you're goyim, word they call us goyim, man. Yep. Cattle, man. Cattle. They say goyim is cattle in the Talmud. And then what's even deeper is that, because I always wondered this myself. I always wondered, like, what, what the hell did they do with all them bodies, man? Because you know they'd be sacrificing mad people, right? 300,000 kids a year. 300,000. At least 100,000. And these motherfuckers is getting like 300,000 kids a year. Sacrificing them and shit. To and Moloch. I'm, yeah, to Moloch. The real Moloch. Not no fucking... I know, right? Not that bullshit. That motherfucking trying to spin it. Trying to say Yahweh was Moloch and shit. But to the real Moloch, right? These motherfuckers is sacrificing not only children and shit. Mad shit. That's hundreds of thousands of children. Not to mention all the homeless and all the adults that they take and sacrifice yeah. as well. And I was always wondering. I was like, man, what are they doing with all these bodies, man? Because you know they always doing. They always have their summer festival. The Bilderberg was just happening. They, they're they going to have that that winter festival. What's, what's that shit? The Feast of the Beast. All this stuff. You know, they have that September one, uh, uh, just all these different days that they do these festivals and they sacrifice people. And it's like, what do they do with the bodies afterwards? I was always like, do they have like a mass grave or is it like, you know, what the fuck's going on? But now, you know, after hearing, doing research and, and, and listening and then hearing that interview, it's like these motherfuckers are taking the bodies after they sacrifice them and they're putting them in the food. 
They're putting it in the fucking meat and McDonald's and shit. That's why McDonald's is like a fucking dollar for a cheeseburger and shit. Because we they know all this motherfuckers is poor. And now all we're going to have to do is get some change. And we're going to be like, oh, yeah, let's go get us a fucking McChicken or a damn double cheeseburger or some it's shit. Right? It's a aborted baby. And it's the, yeah, and, they, and they're and they putting ground up babies and, and ground up people and your children in your fucking McDonald's and shit. And then it gets even worse because then you've got companies that are using aborted fetal tissues and aborted fetus cells and shit to fucking artificial flavoring and stuff like that, man. Pepsi was using it for a while. Uh, uh, Nestle was using it. All these different companies got caught fucking feeding people babies, man. And you know what the fucked up part is? I use, I've been talking about this for years, man. But you know what? I'm going to start letting all kinds of shit out. Check this out. I, I think that they got motherfuckers used to cannibalism. I think this is why everybody's so unhealthy, why all the law, you know, because it keeps us sinning, it keeps us breaking laws, and it explains why everybody's having all these health problems and why everything's all fucked up, and why everybody becomes, in a way, addicted to some of these foods, is because they're literally feeding us humans, they're pe- they're putting us cannibalism, and I believe, in my own, that is my own opinion, brothers may say whatever they want, I mean, whatever, but it, I think that the pigs i think pork i think people taste like pork i think people i know it's kind of strange yeah, whatever think about it. but i think people taste like pork man think about it you, they say you are what you eat most people eat pork most people eat pork and the pork the the the, the pigs and shit they eat nothing but fucking garbage and all kinds of shit so they're eating a bunch of shit and then you're eating them think about it what's that they use pigs when they when they test ballistics you know, like some CSI shit, right? These motherfucking Edomites, whenever they test bullets and test shit like that, what do they take? They take pigs because they say that the pig's anatomy is the closest to a human. They try to, you know, they try to spin the monkey shit like, oh, monkeys have DNA, blah, 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 which I think all science and all DNA is fucking bullshit. But they say that anyways in their own shit. They say, you know, oh, well, you know, science, uh, DNA of the monkeys, 2% difference or whatever the fuck. But... They say the anatomy of the pig is the closest, that the skin is the same, the fucking heart and the liver, the organs are the same and everything. So why wouldn't people taste like pigs? You get what I'm saying? Like, especially how unhealthy both of us are. And then the fact that they've been putting it in the food and everybody's starting to get used to the flavoring because it's artificial flavoring. And cannibalism causes fucking problems. You, you'll go through like withdrawals and shit. There's like studies and shit when motherfuckers get all fucked up. And the same thing because it, and then the same, it's like the same thing with the blood. This is where the story of like vampires came from and shit because vampires are symbolic of, of the uh, like higher uh, elites or whatever you want to call them, these Amalekite fucking devils. They're the ones that drink blood and the blood they get they, because when they sacrifice people and when they do things like that, they get everybody hyped up. And they get them their adrenaline rushing and all this shit. They kind of make, they kind of show it in that movie. Uh, what's that fucking movie, yo? With the one where the homie takes the pills, and fucking becomes all super and shit. Where he like it's all smarts with that Edomite dude, that blonde motherfucker from the from the hang, the Hangover. Limitless, limitless. That movie, limitless, where homie takes them pills, right? And then what happens? That other guy takes them pills. He stabs the guy in the neck. The blood spills out and he drinks the blood on the floor. I don't know if you guys seen that movie. But if you watch that movie, the dude drinks blood. And through the blood, he gains the power of the pills. Now, it's the same thing with the with the Edomites, you know, high level of Malachites. This is why they sacrifice and drink blood is because they, they scare the people. They do the ritual, which gets them all fucking hyped up and all afraid and shit, which then they are able to uh drink they they drink the blood with the adrenaline it's like one of the biggest uh, uh rushes they and they also talk about this in the movie uh fear and loathing fear and loathing in las vegas um you know um they they say that uh, they talk about adrenochrome right which adrenochrome they say is produced by your adrenaline gland it's the adrenaline in the blood and he even says you know i hooked up with some i'll probably do a video on it uh he says i hooked up with the satanist freak and he gave me um, an ounce of uh, pure adrenochrome. And he's like, oh, he even jokes around. He's like, I asked for just if maybe he had a pure adrenaline gland for me to just chew on or something. And then if you watch the movie, um, uh, who's the main character? Damn, uh, Johnny Depp uh, ends up drinking too much of that shit. 
and he fucking starts tripping like way too hard and blacks out for like a couple of days. And all kinds of shit goes down, right? They're showing you that ritual that they do when they drink the blood. That's what it does to them. It gets them all fucked up. Well, they end up getting addicted to it because if, you, if, you, if you're taking artificial adrenaline, it's like steroids. Steroids is artificial testosterone. If you take in too much artificial testosterone, your body stops producing testosterone itself. So then you get all fucked up. This is why people get all fucked up when they take steroids, right? And then they stop taking them. Because their body isn't used to producing, it doesn't produce it, and then your body starts crashing. It's the same thing with like adrenaline. If you start taking adrenaline, uh, artificial adrenaline, you're not going to produce your own adrenaline, and then you're going to become addicted to it. You're going to need to drink that blood to get that rush, to get that high, to get that to to link in, you know, because they use it to link in with demons and shit, with fallen angels and spirits and whatnot. So, and that's what they use mathematics, high level mathematics, high level chemistry. That's what all those symbols and shit are for. They all those equations. Basically, they use those equations inside of of geometric shapes and use those uh, seals. I guess you could say these these witch seals, these uh, things to summon things. You know, from dimensions. It has to do with the wavelengths. And shit. I'll do a video on that too, uh, most I willing. But anyway, um, but that's that's why they depend on that blood. And that's where the whole Jesus thing, that's why it's like, oh, this is my blood you got drinking, this is my flesh, because then it goes to cannibalism too. Because even Nasi, uh, that, you know, even though he's a sellout Sinetter Hebrew, uh, coon ass motherfucker, he, he even came out with the fact that the Egyptians, that they practiced cannibalism, and that's what the Ankh also resembled when the high priests were giving the Ankh to each other in the mouths, that it resembled flesh. Cannibalism, it's like, it's like that movie Hostel, man, you know? motherfuckers be eating people and shit those are satanic rituals torturing people sacrificing them taking their blood doing all that shit those are all satanic with the move hostile movies are showing you what the satanists really do you know and and like i said then they take those bodies and unfortunately they grind them up and they they feed them to you man and people eat that shit they even make fun of it on king of the hill there's even an episode on king of the hill where dale dale gribbles like yeah that's their their master. He says they want to fatten us up with two for one pizza coupons, and then they'll take us and steal our kidneys, and or they'll kill us. They'll steal our kidneys, and then they'll take the kidneys, and uh, grind them up, put them back on the pizzas, and restart the process over again. Meaning they take people, they kill them, they put their bodies in the food, and then they they sell the food to the people, and then they keep that process going. They keep us in perpetual like cannibalism being all fucked up breaking laws and like it's really fucked up like it really like when you get to the meat of the shit when you start getting into the real in-depth shit man it starts getting like really fucking disturbing like i'm sorry to talk about all this shit but like it needs to be it needs to be like exposed like we need to start like talking about all this shit man like you know like we get caught up with all these fucking Wicked ass niggas fucking running their mouths, blaspheming the most high. And yes, we gotta we gotta defend against them and we gotta like you know, do what we have to do, but we also gotta we, we also gotta keep bringing out these truths, man, and, and shit like that, man. We we gotta talk about this wickedness that's going on. We gotta wicked witness not only against the wickedness that's among our own nation, but we gotta witness we gotta witness against the wickedness that's happening in the world in general. Cause the shit's getting out of hand, man. Like to a level that's that's beyond uh, its wickedness is at an all time high right now. And um, yeah, it's uh, hopefully, man. I, I hope the Most High comes and 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 just wipes this shit the fuck out already. Cause this is this is like it's getting hard to view, you know. Like, like it's getting hard to yeah. witness like all the wickedness you get what I'm saying like yeah. like fuck man but you know so wow um what else if you want to bring anything else if not we could cut it you know we got we got enough oh we're gonna be coming out with some uh, good lessons out soon we're gonna expound more on the names and that then, we brought out go through break yeah we're gonna break down the scriptures of those names that we brought out go into them describe them a little more show that it's happening today 
we're going to also link them up with the Dead Sea Scrolls and show that the the way we interpret scripture through uh, through the temple, Torah, tabernacle teachings uh, commanded to us in Ezekiel 43, um, by going through that, we are actually performing, we are doing the same thing that the Qumran, the Qumran community was doing. Um, who were the Levites called the Essenes? They were Levites, man. We've been coming out with that evidence, man. We got so much evidence. We got so much history to bring out. Um, all about the Mac showing, show, showing some real deep shit, man. We, we, gonna, we, gonna, we gonna expound upon the Dead Sea Scrolls. We're gonna expound upon the history. We're gonna hit some Maccabees. We're gonna hit some Josephus. Uh, we're gonna talk about some things that need to be talked about and discussed. Um, uh, some calendar shit that finally needs to kind of be discussed. Um, a, a lot of different things, man. A lot of different topics. Uh, we're going to present some evidences, uh, bring it out to the congregation. That way we can all start talking about these things um, and getting everything straightened away because we got to start uh, doing our best, man. Instead, do start teaching, man, to keep teaching like we're supposed to. Again, I apologize, Yashar, uh, to everybody, to the whole family and stuff uh, that, you know, that we haven't been as active, but the shit, we've been going through a lot of shit, man. Uh, you know, just bear with us. Yeah, bear with us, man. Not only uh, you know, yeah, with the with, sh- with the shit with the internet and Esau fucking with our electronics, shutting our comments down, doing all this stuff. You know, if you guys want to get a hold of us, uh, I don't, I don't know, some somehow, but we could communicate somehow if you guys want to get in touch. But you know, but we're having a hard time communicating comment board wise on other people's videos. So just to let brothers know, you know, that we're still here, we're still out there, and we're gonna still be fighting. Videos are going to be coming, pouring out. We're going to record some more tomorrow. Um, some Hebrew lessons going down because there's a lot of bullshit talking against uh, the Waz, uh, saying there's E's and I's and O's and U's and shit like that, which don't belong in the Hebrew. And yeah, a bunch of Yiddish speaking motherfuckers that need to be stamped out. Uh, a lot of blaspheming going on that needs to be addressed. Uh, the camps need to be smacked up again. Sineter and them fools need to be smacked up again. They're starting to talk about uh, evolution now. We finally got them talking about evolution. So now, so now it's time to attack Sineter again. We got to prepare and always watch out for the Moors because the Moorish battle will soon be coming. I I can feel it. Um, you know, we just got to do work, man. We got to do work, Uh So, you know, it's good to be back. Good to talk. Good to bring shit out. Hope everyone enjoyed it. You know, probably the five people that watch it. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, you know, shalom to all the brothers, man. Barakatham to all you guys, shalom. man. Uh, yeah. Barak Hasham Yahweh, you know. Uh, bless the name of the Most High Yahweh. All praises yeah. and glory and honor and everything to him and him alone, you know. Allah. The the Zaba Awath, you know. The master of hosts. Master is the Adonai. The Allah High, man, you know. Uh, the Most High, man, the Al- Alaya, um, uh, Alayanao, or no, wait, what is it, Alayawan? Alayawan, the, the Most High, that's, Alayawan is Most High in uh, Hebrew, so Alayawan, Yahawad Zaba'awath, Barak Hashem Yahawad, Shema Yashar Allah, Yahawad Allah, Hayana Yahawad Akkad, you know, Kahala Yahawad Zaba'awath Akkad, Shalawam Akiyam Barakatam.